happy Monday to you, and thanks for joining me today. It's always great to spend a few minutes together in God's Word. We are spending a lot of Sundays here in the church year uh, in John chapter 6. And I want to, uh, well, call this, he's more than the bread king. And uh, here's the uh, verses I want to share. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. That's John 6 again, verses 14 and 15. Jesus had just fed 5,000 people, well, more than that, 5,000 men is what they counted, uh, with only five loaves of bread and two fish. Now we can just marvel at his power to, to feed so many people with such little resources, a true miracle worker. And it almost makes us think that, you know, what if Jesus could do this every day? Worldwide hunger could become a thing of the past. Next, we could tackle sicknesses. And then homelessness could be eliminated. And on and on. It could be wonderful. It all sounds so good. But is this why Jesus came the first time? Well, there were those who would have been very happy to have Jesus just kind of take care of them. <laughs> Feed me. Make life easy for me. Be my king and make my life free from effort, sacrifice, and certainly problems. And it is tempting to make Jesus into a, a bread king. Just have every want and desire filled. But what about our real needs? Who would respond to my need for forgiveness? Who would resolve my uh, enmity between me and God? Uh, who would give me hope in the face of death? I need Jesus to be more than the bread king. I need him to be the savior that God sent him to be. And absolutely, this is why Jesus came. He came to live for me, to bleed for me, to die for me, and to rise for me. And you can say the same. Jesus came to live for you, to bleed for you, to die for you, and to rise for you. He came to answer our greatest need. He came to conquer our greatest fear. It's easy to confuse what I want Jesus to be with what I need Jesus to be. Now, when Jesus comes back for the second time, that is when he comes back as the king of the universe, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And there will be no more hungry bellies, be no more sickness, be no more tears, and certainly no more death. So yeah, that is Jesus' ultimate plan. Once he's done using us to share the good news with every person on the planet. And it starts in our own community. So when we're uncertain, we just need to look to the cross. Because there we see Jesus the Savior that we truly need. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for being the King that we, we truly need. Help us to remember that you are in control of all things. That you've taken care of our greatest needs. Needs for forgiveness and eternal life. And we know you will provide for and uh, take care of all of the other problems and troubles in this world in due time. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. You guys have a wonderful week in the Lord.